Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That's right, it's Friday and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. And this episode of Friday's Finds is sponsored by Sam Top. Same Top. Sam Top, Sam Top. They uh, asked to sponsor an episode of Friday's Finds and they sent me this floating action camera holder. Let's check out the unboxing when it arrived. So one of my biggest fears when I'm floating around on the water is actually losing my camera or cameras. Uh, so I'm typically never taking them off of the, the mount. So if I clamp them to the side of the boat, that's where they stay until we get back to dry land. Because I didn't have one little critical piece of equipment and that has just arrived this is the same top same top floating hand grip oh that's nice it's very handy check this out you can put your survival kit in there Comes with a, a screw. It is watertight. I'm not sure exactly. I guess you could put some matches or something in there. Uh, I don't know. We have the handle. All right, now we just need a camera. That is most handy. Heck yeah. I don't have to worry about losing my camera anymore. Oh, I really like the way the, the strap actually locks on. So you don't have to even can be concerned about that. So the same top. Quick action. All right. So let's get into the meat of this. We're not we're not going to be getting out on the on the water. Although if you're doing any kind of action, any kind of filming in the water, this is a good thing to have. That way, if you drop your camera, it's still floating. All right, so on the camera theme, I've had some people ask how I film myself when I'm camping by myself. And so I thought I'd, so I thought I'd show you how I do some of the time lapses that I do. Now, if you'll recall, and you may not know this, several years ago when I was exploring Village Creek State Park, I had a camera grow legs and walk off. It was actually a GoPro Hero 4. And it was kind of frustrating because that was my very first action camera. Anyway, I needed a replacement and I didn't want to invest a whole lot of money in the setup just in the event that that one decided to grow legs and walk away. So here is the setup that I've, comp that I've put together uh, that's most cost effective. And it starts with a van top action camera. And when I bought this, uh, I, you know, I was looking at price. I was, I didn't think it was going to be a, a stellar camera, but I have been so surprised at how clear this camera is. And it, it's simple to use. It's very cost effective. Of course, the price has gone up a little bit from when I, I purchased this. It, it it comes with a whole setup for getting for underwater and it, it's a full action camera setup but i never use it for that because i'm always walking around talking to gopro to, to nine but this is the camera i use the only thing i wasn't excited about is the pin to connect it to the rotator to the tripod is right next to the powerpoint and since I'm doing 
multi-hour videos, I need to plug in power supply, external power. And so that keeps me from being able to put it onto anything. But I went and I found this. And surprisingly enough, this, this cost almost as much as this. <laughs> I was like, holy cow. But that's a little extender. And it's just the right size to fit in there like that. So to get that 360 degree view, I use the Seven Oak Rotator. And it's a mechanical, and I've, I've had, th this is the very first one I ever bought, and I've got a couple of others. And that's the reason I have a couple of others, because that tends to fall off. But it's, it's just a, a mechanical timer. So then this goes in here. And that snaps on there, all right? So that's how we go in a circle. For power, I use the Get Getui. This is a this a they came in a two pack. I can charge them. I can speed charge them with the speed charge with a USB C, and I can go from zero to a hundred in about forty five minutes with that USB-C and I put it on top of the best low price tripod that I could find and that that is how do we pronounce that pussin pussin so I bought a new one because uh, the previous the older version keeps falling over the wind will blow these over and damage it of course it comes with a little holder for your cell phone so if you're not going to be using an action cam you're going to put your cell phone out for i wouldn't recommend leaving your cell phone unattended but you can put your cell phone on there and do the the selfie thing with the tripod It's a, it's a pretty basic tripod, a little extra extension there, and then It also provides you with a little bubble level so you can make sure that your your camera's level you have two angles of adjustment on the top you can tilt it this way and you can tilt it this way now this one is very this one is handy because you can attach that So we're now we're, we're connected. We're locked into place. We can rotate. We'll lock the rotate. We'll lock the up and down. And we've got to do something with the battery pack. I bought a package of these budget-friendly miniature bungee cords. This is the tricky part. You've got to hold your mouth just right. All right, 
and we're plugged in and we're ready to go. That is how I am filming my panoramic time lapse. A whole package uh, is under a hundred dollars. That way, if it grows legs and walks off, I don't I don't feel too violated. I, I always I regret. The, what I would regret more with that camera theft was the loss of footage because I had some awesome footage that I had failed to download from the previous campsite. So that is how I do panoramic. Oh, this also comes with a remote. But we have a remote for the action camera. And we're done with that. There is one other piece of camera equipment that I really love. And I wanted to share that with you while we're talking about camera stuff. And that is the Samtree Selfie. The Samtree Selfie Stick. It also works as a tripod. So that's a handle extension as well as a tripod. If it gets in your way, you just take it off like that. It has a ball mount up here so that you can get a 90 degree. So we can put a 90 degree angle on that camera. If you're doing a selfie like that, what I really like about this, well, there's two things. One is I can just set the camera and that's what I'm talking to right now. I can just set the camera down like that and bada boom. I don't need to go get a fancy tripod. And it's a three foot, that's actually a four foot, a 48 inch selfie stick. So you can really get some some angle, some distance on your camera, if need be. And this is what I use. This is the holder for the camera when I'm doing, when I'm running on the scooter. It's mounted right here. Well, it's usually not quite that high. It's usually about there. But I love this, and all, all of this, all of these are available on Amazon on the influencer page Dude RV's gear recommendation. There is an idea list for camera equipment and all of this will be found in that and the link will be in the description below as well as in the card up there. And that brings us to the end of our video. I want to, I want to say a special thanks to I want to say thanks to Same Top for sponsoring today's video. I needed one of these. I appreciate that. You'll, re you'll, you'll appreciate having one too if you're going tubing or any kind of water activity. Anyway, we're done. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button down there, that red button down there. And remember to hit the bell as well. I produce three videos a week. And you want to hit that bell so you'll know whenever I post a new video. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I am most honored. That's why I get to do what I do. I really appreciate that. For my patrons, I am most grateful. Thank you. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?